Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. This demo is a quick view to see how you can use time tracking using forms and measure the time it's taken for a job to be completed. So let's have a quick look. So I'm going to go into this sheet here, which I've created, and this is the job list. So time tracker job list, and you add items here. Now, just to get it going, I'm going to add in something now. I'm going to add in, I'm going to sign it to Rich Coles. He's going to go to East Village, do furniture collection, and the date is going to be scheduled for today. So by sending that, it's scheduled, and there's an automation that's going to take place. So if I just open this up, there is a workflow in the background, which is when Rosa um, changed and scheduled dates changed to any value, alert someone, and that's the person in the cell. So Rich Coles will be receiving a notification. So we're just waiting for that to trigger, and we'll see that in a moment light up. And so what's going to happen is a form will go through to Rich Coles or whoever the person's assigned there. And on the form, as a new entry is added, it is the link here. Now, the form has the, um, so if I open further, the full kind of view here on this, if I go across on the form, so keep scrolling across, you can see, so the form has a, well, I'm not going to be able to get across, but it's got the reference number um, on it. And so that reference number goes into the form that will be coming across. So I'm not seeing the notification yet. So um, and maybe it's because I haven't saved the sheet yet. And that's why. So waiting So for that to come across. Now, the as that notification comes in, a new one will come in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to manually trigger off the form just so we can see how it runs. So that person will receive a notification. They can say, Activity time log, start or finish. They're starting that job. So they click submit. And then it says, right, keep this form open to capture the finish time. So we'll leave that form open. I'm going to go back to the sheet here now. And you can see that it's already updated with the time started here. So that time's gone in, in terms of 14.42. Now, very easily. So if I want to say, right, um, golf, I'm going to add a new item, golf um, 3D print job and that's not a pound job that's a 3d print job and golf print job and i'm going to again sign that to rich coles yeah rich coles here we go and schedule it for today uh, and i'm going to put the location again is the same as above box more copy and paste and again that's a printing job there okay now you can see it's added in the time here, but now if I save it, actually it clears the timeout because it gives it a reference number. That reference number gets appended at the end and goes onto the form. So because it's got Rich Coles assigned, it's got a date assigned to it, that will do the workflow. You see now that this notification has come in, that'll be for the prior one. Time tracking task required for pickup mattresses from Terraro 32. Okay, so that's the job here. Let's just go in and see what the form says. Please record the time it takes to complete the activity using the form at the link below. Okay, so that information to so pick up mattresses. So the person's been told what they want to do, the date, where they've got to go. They click on the form. Now we've already done that form, so that's the one we filled in. So I'm not going to click on it again, but that's how it works. And so if I just close this one here, um, and again, what we're doing is I'm just going to save the sheet, and a further notification will come in for the next one in a moment. Now that's um, furniture collection job has been running so it's running at the moment what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to that bit and keep it open to catch the finish time we've now finished any relevant jobs uh, no um, all good thanks okay any relevant images that might be helpful no so submit that's now gone in now we can close it because the job's been finished and you can see immediately the data goes back to this sheet and what it does it's got the start time it's got the finish time and it's calculating the time duration in between and it's got the comments here. So this way you can use it and it says now the job is completed. Um, again, just need to work on the conditional formatting because that should be showing green. But in principle, this all works in terms of being able to measure the time that it takes for a particular task in a very simple way of doing this using forms. So, and it's about taking the timestamp and what I've got hidden columns away here which looks at that data and it's doing some reference to different sheets I've got, looking at that bit and working out what's the time and therefore what's the difference in minutes on that side. So there you go. Oops, that other form's just come in. So let's just show it off. 
time tracking job required for golf 3d print job open it up okay so this will go to me or whoever you want to do the job please record the time okay what have i got to do 3d print job okay i'm going to click on the form open up the form okay i'm ready to go right let's start the job submit and that's kicked off okay leave it open and as i say i'll just go back to the sheet here you'll immediately see this will be updated with that information from the job which has gone in if i now show complete well it'll mark at the same time because it's less than a minute uh, which is why i did the other one earlier so that's kind of that's it really it's a pretty effective way um, of using smartsheet to measure time which is not designed for but like many things where there's a will there's a way with smartsheet and you can do the most fabulous things hope that's been useful thanks for watching and check in for some other videos on top tips on funky things you can do with smartsheets this is rich goals from productive project solutions thanks for watching